and welcome to Clan TV. We are joined today by our recent addition, number 74, Dave Nicoletti. Hi Dave, how are you? Not too bad. Good. How are you finding your time in Brayhead so far? I'm enjoying it a lot. Yeah? Everyone's been extremely warm and welcoming and the guys have been uh, very accommodating and I'm enjoying my experience. Is this your first time in the UK or have you been here before? I've only been to London just to travel, yeah. um, but it's my first time over in Scotland. Nice. Yeah. So just so the fans get to know a little bit about you, where did you play last season? My last two seasons I was actually in uh, Syria and Italy, yeah. um, in the top league over there in a small town called Ponteva. Nice. And um, you were recently training with Asiago, is that right? Yes, I was. I was going to be my third year in Italy, just training with Asiago. And um, just for some of the fans out there that have been watching hockey before, one of the head coaches there is John Parco, who played with a former team that I worked with, worked with and some of the fans used to follow, the Scottish Eagles. How, how was John as a coach? He was great. Extremely yeah. intense, uh, very hardworking, uh, demanded a lot out of us. Um, but when I told him that I was coming over here, he was extremely happy. And he's yeah. like, you're going to have a blast. Uh, the Scottish were very great to him. So he just like, go have fun and, and play good hockey. So. Oh, that's good. That's nice. And before you were in Europe, where did you play? I was actually in the States on a Division One scholarship uh, down in uh, Alabama, Huntsville. Nice. And yeah. where is it you're from originally? I'm from Toronto, Canada. But you do have Italian roots, is that I right? I do, yes. yes. My mom uh, was born uh, just outside of Asiago in, in Italy. And then my all my grandparents were born in Italy as well. Nice. And um, how did you get into ice hockey? What made you start playing that sport? Um, I have two older brothers that were actively in it when I was younger. Um, and when I was about four, four or five, uh, my dad just kind of threw me out there with them. And I loved it ever since. Really? So, yeah. And did, did your dad play as well? Uh, no, my dad was a big football player. Yeah. Um, but he actually is the president of a very large uh, minor hockey organization in Toronto, nice. uh, the Toronto Marlboros. So we've been uh, family oriented around hockey our whole lives. Nice. And now that you're here in the EIHL, are there other players around the league that you know or that you've played with before? Um, I do. I do. I know a few. Just like tonight, uh, Mike Schultz uh, yeah. played in Italy last year. Um, and Matt Faulkner is a good friend of mine from Toronto. Um, there's a few players that I'm sure as I get to play the other teams, I'll, I'll recognize and I'll remember from either last year or growing up playing against. Yeah. And what do you think so far? You've only been to um, one away rink? Or, yes. Yeah? So you've been to Edinburgh last week and you've played Embry Head. Yeah. How do the ice surfaces in size compare to what you're used to? I mean, are they similar to the it, European? Yeah, it, it's pretty comparable. Yeah. Um, this rink is much better than most of the rinks that I play in. Um, but the ice surface itself is pretty much the same. Yeah. yeah. And um, are there any teams that you're looking forward to face off against? Have you been doing um, a little bit of research? No, of no. Every, every game I'm just taking that as a new experience, a new opportunity. And um, I'm excited for every single one. So I'm sure I'll get some rivalries grow, growing as I start to play more and more. But um, for now, every team is, is a new challenge. And yeah. I look forward to that. And um, if we just look back at the games, we only had one game this weekend. We yes. faced off against the Coventry Blaze on Saturday at home. How, how was that game for you? It was pretty good. Uh, we got off to a very good start. Um, we played 60 minutes really well as a full team. Everybody, the lines were rolling. Uh, great defense right from the goalie out. And it was a good win overall for the team. And what do you think of the fans that come to the games? Like you've, been, you've had two home games now in Brayhead. Do you, do you notice the fans? Do you oh, hear definitely, them? Definitely, yeah. yeah. Um, it's much, much different than Italy. This is a, a great atmosphere to play in front of. Um, I'm fortunate to play in front of so many fans. Mm -hmm. And they're very loud, and I love just seeing the sea of purple. Like They're very energetic, and, and it's very, very good as a player to feel that support when you're on the ice. Yeah, and um, just some things that the fans like to know. Do you have any superstitions at all? before a game, or do you have any rituals that maybe you do? I kind of uh, always dress from the right side up. Yeah. Um, so right shin pad, right skate, then go to the left, right glove. So just a weird thing, I always go from right to left, and I always brush my teeth before every game. Really? Yeah. Oh, so there you go, minty fresh yeah. on the ice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> So, well, thank you for joining us today. My um, we wish you all the best for this weekend and for the forthcoming season. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys.